Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into the intrusion and the final boss fight for the 5 plus white bit against Zoro and Sanji with none of the treasure map batch. However, we are using some of the New Year's batch. Now, a lot of people are summoning on the New Year's banners, and rightfully so. These banners are insane. They are the best value banners that we get all year and have some of the best characters on them. So, I understand if you skip the treasure map banner, you don't have any of the treasure map units, but you do maybe have one of the legends and the rare recruits from the New Year's batch. And if so, hopefully this video helps you guys out. And if it does, make sure to go down there, belt the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. With that said, this is the white bid that we'll be farming for, the 5+. plus. Let's take a look at the first team comp. Now, this first team comp only uses Roger and Odin and Kinemon. Um, Toki's great, but like, yeah, she doesn't really fit into too many places. But if you guys only have Roger and Odin... It means you are going to struggle a little bit on this Robin Jinbei fight because you're going to need to bring like a Zoro Sanji. However, you can bring a Zoro Sanji friend captain. That's going to work very nicely. But some other options are Momo. He's just a straight slide in. Or you can do something with this free to play Zoro and use a um, chopper support and a Sabo support. Not the end of the world for this Robin Jinbei fight. There is special bind and special reverse, which is very, very annoying. Using something like Yamato Ace works perfectly for that, though. They can um, get around special bind with their captain ability. They can give you special reverse with their special. Um, they're, they're, they're quite good for that. But if you don't have Zoro Sanji, you can always bring a friend captain there. As for the final boss, though, Zoro Sanji don't really fall into place too much here, and Law and Robin is a great replacement for Yamato. Kinemon's awesome because he can get around the special uh, reverse, but if you have the Legend Nami support, you can actually just use that. That's going to give everyone the special reverse, and that way you can then just use Luffy. But the way that this team operates is you need to get around some poison sockets, and utilizing Kinemon as that final unit with the free-to-play Whitebeard allows us to get the Super EX of the... Legend Rodin. Now, using the Super EX of Rodin on turn one gives them a Wano Orb, and then you can use their special to turn everyone's orbs into Wano. They're going to wave clear. You lock the Wano Orbs, and when you move into stage two, you don't have to worry about these poison sl sl uh, slots. Now, utilizing the friend captain Luffy's um, super type is going to get around special bind. However, you don't have access to that until you get to this part of the fight here. So utilizing the PKA Luffy, he can remove six turns of special bind. I hope you guys farmed him out because he's very, very good. Um, I think he does, I think he does six turns off the bat and then he does an extra turn. Oh yeah. So if you have six, uh, six recovery orbs, he does, um, Oh, he only does five turns of uh, special bind removal, but that's okay because like you only need him really on this particular turn. Um, once you get Whitebeard into play, you can um, swap Whitebeard out for the double barrier remover, and then you could probably use the support for special bind removal. Um, but unfortunately, I actually just totally spaced on that particular part of Luffy's special. Um, you can just use him basically to just help help you clear that particular stage. Uh, the poison sockets are the most deadly here. That's like the the big issue. Uh, I think you can actually use the uh, the Rizo support. Actually, yeah, that's going to work very very nice here. You can use this Rizo support. Um, that's going to take care of all of the special bind for you guys. Uh, it's going to work quite nice. And um, then you can use Whitebeard with the Whitey base support to get around the barrier. If you super evolve Whitebeard, he's just going to take care of this. But for now, we're going to use the free to play one for the Super X, and then use the Whitey Bay to help us out. Once you do kill stage 2, there's an 80% HP cut. That's actually a good thing because it allows you to auto-trigger Luffy to deal with this. He takes care of the paralysis. He takes care of the burn. Let's get around the special rewind and the 6 turns of um, damage reduction. We actually have Kinemon that gives Slash's turn of cooldown, which means Robin and Law are going to remove the damage reduction. You get 3 turns of a color affinity with this. You have the attack boost from Luffy. You also remove the burn there, which is really, really nice. And then on the revive, because you're below... 30% HP, well, 20%, yeah, when you're below 30% HP, you can use the super type of Luffy. Using the super type of Luffy is going to remove this special bind, and then you can actually use his special. Then that will remove the paralysis, and you're in for a really, really good time there. With that, you basically have everything covered for the Zoro fight, and it works quite nicely. As for Sanji, Zoro and Sanji are really, really good for this. You do need to get around Poison, which we have the white bid support for, and then you have this, all this pain, healing, turn to damage, and recovery all turn to damage too. Zoro Sanji is perfect for getting around this increased diff defense and um, threshold. However, for this um, final fight, or the intrusion fight, Momo just slides in perfectly. He can remove seven turns of um, 
defense up and threshold. However, I know a lot of people probably didn't summon for Momo. If you got lucky on part one, you probably got him. But there is the free-to-play Zora that you guys can use. This one right here. He's uh, He does five turns of both of those. You are going to take a cut to your points. But look, at the end of the day, it's the intrusion. It only comes around every five maps anyway. Kinemon, he's just there for points. He activates the Roger, uh, the Rodin EX as well. Uh, he can remove paralysis. The friend caps can get around special binds. But you also have this um, particular Luffy as well. Plus, like I said, you have this Rizo support. That's going to help you guys out with the, um, the rest of the special binds. Uh, and it all works out pretty hunky-dory. Just be careful on this stage because of all this pain stuff and all of this healing crap. Um, just, just be very careful. But with the boosted stats, you guys are going to be fine. On the final stage, if you're not a free spirit slasher or a free spirit fighter or a fighter slasher, you do take 99% uh, of a uh, HP cut. You do want to use the fr friend Captain Luffy on this stage, though, because you want the rainbow orb. Um, so make sure to do that. Um, but your if you have Momo, he's going to hit very, very hard. The... Um, Kingdom One hits very, very hard, and so did the two Luffy's. So, like, you'll have plenty of damage even with that attack down, so don't worry about it too much. If you guys did get Yamato, though, Yamato's, like, she's 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 a bit of hit or miss, to be honest, man. Um, over here, you can use um, Zoro and Sanji once again, but again, Momo and this Zoro, they work great. You can do some funky shenanigans like this. Um, but against Zoro, a great bring-in for Rodan is the 6 plus Shanks. Shanks is great because he can actually remove Paralysis, and he gives you an attack boost, a base stab boost, and a chain boost, which is awesome for the revive. And the reason it's awesome for the revive is because you have to get around these poison sockets, and it's a really, 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 really shitty time because there's only one unit that can get around it that's boosted besides the new Hiori, and that's a Sanji who's only a 1.25 booster. We don't really want to be using 1.25 boosters around here. It's the final boss fight. So if you use Luffy on turn one, you're going to get rainbow orbs on your top and bottom row. You can swap with Yamato. That's going to give you guys a Wano slot. Um, and then, depending on how many units you need to tap with, you can kill that stage. I believe there's two units usually on um, stage one. So that way, you can actually just use these two characters to kill that middle stage. Um, and then you have your Rainbow Orbs moving into the into the stage two. On stage two, you're not going to have to worry about the Poison Sockets then. To get around the um, special... Uh, bind here, we are going to use that combination once again of Luffy and, now that we know about it, the Rizo support. Um, this one right here. That's going to take care of the, um, the special bind completely. You're going to get a nice orb buff with your rainbow orbs. Then you can use Whitebeard to take care of this. Now, if you don't have the Whitey base support, don't stress. When you super evolve Whitebeard, he's going to remove two turns of barriers anyway. You have the four uh, quick units for Shanks regardless. So it's absolutely fine with your um, with your requirements there. On death, you're going to take 80% HP cut, which works great for Luffy's auto trigger. That way you can take care of this. Um, Yamato takes care of the damage reduction. And then if with the Nami support, you can get the cooldown reduction. Uh, if you don't have this Nami support, the Legend Nami, that's okay because Kinemon actually gives uh, cooldowns to slashes. And everyone besides Shanks is a slasher that needs their special. However, Luffy... Uh, uh, well, sorry. The one character that needs the special is... Um, is Yamato. So you're going to have the auto trigger of Luffy for an attack boost. You have Yamato for your color affinity boost. And um, basically, that's all you're going to rock. You have no orb boost, but like you can run something like um, this like final stage orb booster if you really want to. Um, if you guys have access to that, like that's another thing. You could also use this guy too. If you guys have done some summons there and then use the Nami support over on Luffy, that's going to work out nice and hunky-dory for you as well. Um, once you... Once you um, kill this particular stage, on death, there's going to be a revive. So this is where utilizing the friend captain super type works really, really nicely. Because he gets around the spe uh, special blinds. Then you can pop Shanks because you pass that first turn anyway. So he gets his cooldowns back. And then you can use him to get an attack boost, a chain boost, and a base stat boost. And remove the paralysis. And it works out really, really nicely. So that's the team versus Zoro. Reversing Sanji again, we're going to be using um, Shanks. And a great replacement for... Zoro Sanji, as I mentioned, is Momo. He, he just slides straight on the team. But if you don't have Momo, which I do understand a lot of people don't, because I'm one of them, um, you can just use this free-to-play Zoro. He just, he just goes perfectly, because utilizing the free-to-play Zoro, 
means that you can get around the three turns of threshold and defense up. You do have to be very careful with this like healing shenanigans and pain and whatnot. The white beard, the Marcus Ward on white beard gets around the poison, so that's quite nice. Then on the final stage, you can use Shanks to get around the paralysis, which is awesome. Um, you can use Luffy to get around the special blind. Um, as we've now learnt, you do need um, six turns of special bind removal, um, which you can actually get with um, utilizing 12 recovery orbs. That way you can get around uh, six turns of silence. But with Luffy, he has access to the one and only Sabo support. Um, if you need to though, you can use some of these other supports, but Sabo support, he works absolutely great. If you do have um, Momo though, you can use Rizo. That's another really, really good option for you guys. And you can do some fun stuff there. Now, if you don't have this Nami support, though, you are going to be in for a bit of strife because you do need one turn of cooldowns. Now, if you don't have that one turn of cooldown, um, you are going to have to do a big old reshuffle. You're going to have to bring in something like Kinemon over Newgate and then bring the Ivankov support over here on... Um, on Luffy, and then that way you can bring this Ryzen support across over onto Kidamon if you don't have that. But um, Shanks can give you the paralysis removal. You can get the special mind removal with your PK Luffy. Um, unfortunately, you're not going to have the super type, but you can do some funky stuff with this pain and all of this, these, these shenanigans to actually get access to this Luffy if you need it. Luffy's healing is going to turn into damage, so that's 30k. When you use specials, you're going to take 10k. When you use swaps, it's, you're going to take 10k. So you can kind of plan this in a sense that this will bring you below 30%, so you, then you can activate the auto trigger of Luffy to, to get around stuff like this if you need it. Like I said, this one turn might cause some people some grief, but you do want to make sure that you have these rainbow orbs on this final stage. So you do want to use the friend Captain Luffy special no matter what. Um, if you don't have that Nami support, like I said, you're going to have to bring a Kinemon here somewhere. But you remember, he only re rerolls re slashes. Um, so that's another bit of a problem as well. Um, so so just, be mind mindful, <laughs> just be mindful of that. Um, moving on to the team, if you don't have... Or if you don't have... If, sorry, if you do have Zoro and Sanji... If you have Zoro Sanji, it's actually it's a lot, lot nicer, to be honest. You do sacrifice a lot of points on the final boss, though. Because, again, I would just highly recommend bringing Zoro Sanji over here, unless you have Momo. Um, or if you want to do some other funky stuff there, and then bring this across. Because if you bring Zoro Sanji across, you are getting an extra 0.5 points, which will bring you up around here. But, like, the nav levels remain the same. So, I would keep Zoro Sanji over on the, the Robin Jinbei fight, and then you can do something like this against Zoro. Using Shanks, once again, is very, very nice. We can use that strat to pop um, Luffy on turn one to get Rainbow Orbs so we can avoid the Poison Sockets. We can use our friend Captain, uh, oh, sorry, our PKA Luffy to get around the Special Bind as well as the Rizo support on Kinemon. We have the Special Reverse with Nami, but if you don't have the Nami support, that's okay because Kinemon's going to give Robin and Law the cooldowns and Kinemon can also remove the Paralysis, which is awesome. Robin and Law, they give you Color Affinity, they can remove the damage reduction. Whitebeard takes care of the barriers, whether he's 5 plus or 5 star with the Whitey Bay support. And then you get this auto trigger, like I said, for Luffy to take care of these two shenanigan reefs here. On the revive, you can use uh, the super type to take care of the special bind, and then use Shanks to take care of the paralysis. So you got you got a lot, you got a lot cooking for you. Just gonna make sure you use Luffy on turn one. As for the Sanji fight, um, to get around the poison, we have that Marco support once again. You also have access to um Ivankov if you want to on uh, Luffy. That's another option. And then, you, like I said, you can use this sort of like healing to damage to your advantage for Luffy. And then Zoro Sanji is just going to be your straight option at getting around the defense up in the threshold. Robin and Law, I just threw them on the team because they're a three-turn color affinity booster. Um, that's just going to work really, really nicely. Um, you can replace them with pretty much anyone that you like in terms of bringing um, some... What's it called? Some other buff. Um, looking at this now, as we've sort of learned that we do kind of want to have another... Uh, special bind remover, I would probably bring something like the Kinemon, if you have Kinemon, um, so that way that you can just bring um, that Rizo support. You could bring um, Momo on this team as well. Just anyone that has access to that Rizo support um, will be very, very nice. Um, however, Kinemon can give the, the one turn of cooldown to um, Whitebeard, which is pretty much all he's got going for him. Again, um, you can try some shenanigans with this pain stuff so that way you get some auto triggering going as well but that's going to wrap up the video hope you, hopefully it helps you guys out if it does make sure to go down there bell like button for me hit the subscribe button do all that good stuff most importantly wherever you guys are in this beautiful world please remember to enjoy the rest of your day as always homies thank you all for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one Later.